okay everybody thank you for watching my video welcome to my youtube channel Zulfaka Saadi the constitutionalist so today we will make a rebuttal on the article by thevibes.com a statement made by Jeffrey Kittingan on Sabah Sarawak status not an issue right now that is what he said so we will make a rebuttal so we make a rebuttal here on what he said so first let us look at the mistake number one what is mistake number one here it said Sarabah Sarawak status not an issue right now actually it is not about the status of Sabah in Sarawak no it's not about the status of Sabah in Sarawak it is about the constitutional position of Sabah in Sarawak if we look at article 161e the heading look at the heading of article 161e i can show you here okay you can look here the heading safeguards for constitutional position of states of Sabah and Sarawak so this is article 161e it are talking about constitutional position of Sabah and Sarawak so that is the first mistake made by Jeffrey Kittingan so it's not about status it's about constitutional position and then he said article 161e states no amendment to be made to constitution without approval or consent of two states at Sabah Deputy Chief Minister. So this is not a mistake, it's um, how I, I can say not that accurate. Not accurate. This is not very accurate. So maybe I can make mistake number two. actually no amendment to be made ah, this is a mistake actually this is a mistake no amendment to be made to constitution without approval or consent of two states so actually no amendments there is two mistake here so i make mistake number two and mistake number three first no amendment on article 1 is actually in article 161 e clause 1 so provision for no amendment is in article 161 e clause 1 and approval or consent from the state government and TYT of Sabah and Sarawak is actually in 161E 161E clause 2 so his statement here is confusing mix everything together this is completely different provision in article 161E here it says no amendment for, to article 1 of the federal constitution so you cannot change the constitutional position that is provided in the article 1 of the federal constitution so you cannot make any amendment no amendment the constitutional position can only be improved for Sabah and Sawa it can be only equate or assimilate to the position of the states of Malaya what happened in 1976 is that our constitutional position has been degraded from one of the component states of the 
state of Malaysia, we have become one of the component state of the Federation of Malaya. So that is a downgrade. So it breached Article 161E, Clause 1. And then the approval and consent is actually talking about Article 161E, Clause 2. It gives a list of amendment that require a consent. I can show you in the federal constitution. Okay. Show you here. Okay, this is clause two here. This is clause 2, 161E, clause 2. No amendment shall be made to the constitution without the concurrence of the Yang Depetua Negeri of the State of Sabah or Sarawak or each of the State of Sarawak concern. If the amendment is such as to affect the operation of the constitution as regards any of the following matter. So it gives a list that require a consent from Sabah and Sarawak. So they have the List A, B, C, D, E. So there is five lists here. Five items that require a consent. If we give a consent, Sabah and Sarawak give a consent, then amendment can be done under Article 161E, Clause 2. For all these lists, five lists. But for the constitutional position under Article 1, here, no amendment can be made. It doesn't matter. The only way we can amend Article 1 is to equate or assimilate the position of Sabah and Sarawak to the position of the states of Malaya. You see here, except unless unless the modification is such to equate or assimilate the position of that state under constitution to the position of the states of malaya so this is completely different provision article 161e clause 1 and article 161e clause 2 okay That is mistake number two and mistake number three. Then we look at the article. This is article by Jason Santos. I'll talk the 1976 downgrade of Sabah and Sarawak to mere state in the Federation can be considered unconstitutional. The matter is not an issue at present. You see, he said uh, Sabah and Sarawak in 1976. Uh, we, now we make a uh, mistake number four by Jeffrey Kittingan. So he said our constitutional position from states of Malaya, Malaysia to become states of Malaya because of, because of the amendment in 1976 is not an issue. This is a big issue actually because we agree to form malaysia as states of malaysia but if we become states of malaya under if we look at malaysia agreement 1963 okay we look at malaysia agreement 1963 here If we look at Malaysia Agreement 1963, Article 3, it said, The Government of United Kingdom will submit to Her Britannic Majesty before Malaysia Day orders in Council for the purpose of giving the force of law to the Constitution of Sabah and Sarawak and Singapore as States of Malaysia, which set out in Annex B, C and D to this agreement. So Sabah and Sarawak, we have a constitution. 
This constitution have a force of law if Sabah and Sarawak become states of Malaysia. Now, because of the amendment in 1976, Sabah and Sarawak don't have the constitution anymore. Eh? Our constitution don't have force of law anymore. So, we look at Article 1. From colonies, we become uh, states. We become states when we federated with the Federation of Malaya. So, we become, here, yeah, we become states of Malaysia. So, once we become states of Malaya because of the amendment in 1976, our constitution will, will not have force of law anymore. Now, we become back to a colonies. Now, the question is, because of this amendment in 1976, we are no more states of Malaysia. We become states of Malaya, one of the states of Malaya. Are we the, become colonies again? So, are we colonies of Malaya or are we colonies of United Kingdom, back to United Kingdom? So, that is the question. That is the consequence of the amendment in 1976. So, this is not a joke. And this is a big issue in Malaysia. So, that is mistake number four. And then he said, The Sabah Deputy Chief Minister, known for being a champion for matters related to the Malaysia Agreement 1963, said under Article 161E, No amendment should be made to the Federal Constitution on the status of the two states without their approval. You see, this is mistake number five. Now, mistake number five. I, I suspect that Jeffrey Kittingan just make a copy paste of his statement. I don't know who tell him, but he tried to be a champion here. So I show him who are the real champion. He said under Article 161E, no amendment should be made to the federal constitution on the status of the two states without their approval. Actually, the right article is Article 161E, Clause 1. So this is no amendment. The same thing that I just said just now. To Article 1. On the constitutional position. Not status. Huh? This is, we are not talking about status here. No. So this is under the mistake again here. The similar mistake he said. The federal constitution on the status of the two states without their approval. The approval is in Article 161E, Clause 2, for the five lists of the uh, list of the provision A until E just now in Article 161E, Clause 2. So this one is need approval. So. Article 161, all these five lists, you can make amendment. If you give Sabah and Sabah give approval, you can make an amendment. But for the status of Sabah and Sabah, no amendment can be made. Even if you give a approval here for this Article 161E Clause 1, you give approval, it's still unconstitutional. Huh? It's still unconstitutional because amendment on the constitutional provision, you cannot do it. You just cannot do it. Even if approval was given, you cannot do it. Just like what happened in 1976. It, that's why it said no amendment here. Clearly no amendment. It, that, it, nothing in Article 161E Clause 1 said uh, unless you get approval. No. It doesn't say you need approval in Article 161E, Clause 1. And the exception is only given to amend Article 1 of Malaysia Federal Constitution and change the constitutional position of Sabah and Sarawak for the purpose of equate and assimilate our position to be 
uh, equal with uh, states of Malaya. Other than that, no amendment can be made. And clearly, amendment in 1976, which downgrade the constitutional position of Sabah and Sarawak, is unconstitutional. So, no amendment. Even if it's given approval, it is not possible to amend. So, that's why Jeffrey Kittingan here is confusing. What he said is confusing. I suspect he just copy and paste from some people and try to be champion here. He said the matter related to Malaysia argument said under Article 161E, no amendment should be made to the federal constitution on the status of the two states without their approval. No. No amendment on the constitutional position of Sabah and Sarawak, even if given the approval, no, no amendment can be made. Again, he said, if you look at Article 161E, it says no amendment to the constitution shall be made without the approval or consent of Sabah and Sarawak. This, huh? actually, what he said here is Article 161E Clause 2 for all the five uh, provision that need a consent so that amendment can be made. But uh, amendment that cannot be made on constitutional position in clause 1 of article 161e no amendment can be made so he make a very confusing statement here i don't think he read properly here and then ah uh, you see in article 161e clause 2 and then he said reads no amendment shall be made to the constitution without the concurrence of the head of state of sabah and sarawak or each of the state of sabah sarawak concerns so, Article 161E Clause 2 has no relation at all with Article 1 of the Federal Constitution. It doesn't have any issue with the constitutional position of Sabah and Sarawak in Article 1. Article 161E Clause 2 are talking about amendment that require the consent of the state government for five of the list. Yeah, five of the list given. So if this 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 five list, you need approval from the state government. So you can make amendment, but for constitutional position, you cannot make any amendment. So Jeffrey was referring to the amendment of Article One Clause Two to restore Sabah and Sarawak status as equal partner in the Federation of Malaysia during Pakatan Harapan. So this is not talking about the status; it's talking about the constitutional position. So that uh, how we uh, our position compared to the states of Malaya and how our position Sabah and Sarawak position compared to the component states of Malaya is being spelled properly in the Federal Constitution Article 1 where Sabah and Sarawak is on the same level, on the same constitutional position with the states of Malaya in, in the original provision. In the 1976 Hansat regarding the amendment in relation to the status of the two states, then Prime Minister Tun Hussein On noted that he had the consent of both the Sabah and Sarawak Chief Minister. Sabah and Sarawak Chief Minister, they cannot give <laughs> consent. Chief Minister, Chief, that is not, not that powerful, uh, Chief Minister. Even if Chief Minister give a consent, it will still unconstitutional. Article 161E Clause 1 said, no amendment can be made. Only amendment that require approval of the state government, not chief minister. Article 161E Clause 2 require approval of the state government. TYT. Give a royal assent and then pass the bill in state government and then get the approval. Not chief minister. Chief Minister is nothing. He is nothing. He, he is just one of the executive in the government. And state government is, is, is like a parliament in Sabah and Sarawak. It is a different body. Chief Minister is head of the executive body. So we don't need uh, approval of Chief Minister. No, uh, no. We need approval of state government 
So even if Tun Hussein On get approval from Chief Minister, it is not, it is still unconstitutional for amendment in 1976. Even if Tun Hussein On get the approval from the state government, it is still unconstitutional because only the five lists given in clause 2 uh, of article 161e can make uh, can be amended but article 161e clause 1 on the constitutional position no amendment can be made okay the dewan rakyat debate on the sorry the dewan rakyat debate on the amendment on july 12 and 13 1976 it was supported by 130 MP and rejected by 4. So they passed lah, this amendment in 1976. But this amendment in 1976, even if even if all of the MP uh, support this uh, amendment, it is still unconstitutional because is the provision in Article 161E Clause 1 said no amendment can be made. No amendment on the constitutional position of Sabah in Sarawak. So all this MP, MP ah, member of parliament. MP is member of parliament. So member of parliament is working for who? Member MP, they are working for the federal government. No matter, doesn't matter he come from. State of Malaya, Sarawak, Sabah, all of this MP, they are working for federal government. That is MP. Adun, they work for state government. So the one that protect the state constitution is our Adun. And all this uh, member of parliament they work for federal government they not work for Sarawak but all the representative from Sabah and Sarawak of course they need to voice uh, the, the concern from Sabah and Sarawak but eventually they are working for the federal government and from Sabah and Sarawak so even if all this MP agree it is still unconstitutional because you need no amendment huh? under Article 161E just now. It clearly said no amendment. So the matter can be raised in the cabinet looking into MNCT3 between states and Putrajaya. But right now it is not an issue. See? Mistake number, I don't know. It's so many mistakes already. Can you take counts? I don't know. I think maybe mistake number six This. Mistake number five is already too many to count. So mistake number six, it is not an issue. It is a big issue. Like I said just now, when we are discussing about Article 1 and Article 3 of the Malaysia Agreement 1963. If we look here, when we form Malaysia, the colonies of North Borneo and Sarawak have become states and we become states of Malaysia. If we, if this status, if this constitutional position is changed, where we become states of Malaya, we are reverting back to the colonies. So the question is, Sabah and Sarawak right now have become colonies. So which colonies are we? we uh, are we colonies of Malaya? For if we read Article 1 right now in 1976 amendment, we have become colonies of Malaya. Or are we going back to colonies of United Kingdom? I don't know. Because order in council doesn't have any force of law anymore. Once uh, Sabah and Sarawak has, is not become state of Malaysia anymore. Because 1976 amendment, we become states of Malaya. So are we colonies of United Kingdom again? Uh, that is for the MP to answer. So this is one of the a lot of mistake by deputy chief minister of sabah here this is a big issue this is not a small issue it is a matter of being a state and being a colonist if you don't understand what become a colonist become a colonist you become hamba lah. 
you become slave. So do you want to become a slave? Not big issue to become a slave. So think for yourself. Thank you for watching.